Hello friends, welcome back. We all are busy with our daily routine life. Sometimes it is good to know or recall what exactly is happening inside our body to keep us alive. In this video, I am going to explain you the main system of our body called circulatory system. It is this system which is responsible to deliver nutrients and oxygen to all the cells in the body and keep them alive. The circulatory system consists of three independent systems that are working together. One, cardiovascular system that is the heart. Second, pulmonary system that is the lungs. Third, group of blood vessels which keeps heart, lungs and all other parts of the body connected. Now let us understand each system individually and then understand how all systems are connected. The heart. Let us hear to few heartbeats. Our heart starts beating from 22nd day after the mother is conceived and it stops only when we die. It beats around 108,000 times in a day. It pumps about 7,570 liters of blood every day. It is located between the lungs in the middle compartment of the chest. In simple words, art performs two main functions. First one, it sends oxygen poor blood to the lungs and receives oxygen rich blood from the lungs which is known as pulmonary circuit. Second one, it receives oxygen poor blood from the body and sends oxygen rich blood to the entire body which is called a systemic circuit. Now I will explain how these functions are achieved. The heart is divided into four chambers. The upper two chambers are right atrium and left atrium and the lower two chambers are right ventricle and left ventricle. Commonly the right atrium and the right ventricle is known as right heart and left atrium and left ventricle is known as left heart. The group of pacemaker cells in the synaptral node located in the wall of right atrium is responsible to the heartbeat. These cells produce electric impulse which causes the chambers of heart to contract. During each heartbeat, the heart contracts known as systole and relaxes known as diastole. The above two chambers, the right atrium and the left atrium contracts first then followed by the below two chambers that is right ventricle and left ventricle. The right and left sides of the heart work together. Let us understand what exactly is happening in the right side of the heart. Oxygen poor blood from the body enters the right atrium through two large veins. One is inferior vena cava and other is superior vena cava. The tricuspid valve forms the boundary between the right atrium and the right ventricle. When the right atrium contracts, the tricuspid valve opens and the blood is pumped into right ventricle. When the right ventricle contracts, the tricuspid valve closes and blood is pumped out from pulmonary value and it is carried to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. Simultaneously, in the left heart, oxygen-rich blood from the lungs enters the left atrium through pulmonary vein. The mitral valve forms the boundary between the left atrium and the left ventricle. When the left atrium contracts, the mitral valve opens and the blood is pumped into left ventricle. Then the left ventricle contracts, the mitral valley closes and the blood is pumped out from the aortic aorta valve and it carried to the entire body through the aorta artery. Next is 
the pulmonary system that is the lungs lungs are sacs of tissues located just below rib cage and above the diaphragm they are important part of respiratory system and waste management of the body the right lung is shorter than the left lung to make space for the liver and the left lung is narrower than the right lung to make space for the heart the right lung is divided into three different sections called as lobes the left lung has only two lobes the lobes are made of sponge like tissue that is surrounded by a membrane called pleura which separate lungs from the chest walls each lung of has its own pleura sac this is why when one lung is punctured the other can go on working now let us understand how blood is oxygenated in the lungs as a person breathes air travels down the throat and into the trachea also known as windpipe the trachea divides into two tubes called as right bronchus and the left bronchus these two tubes go into each lung and these tubes branch out into smaller subdivisions throughout each side of the lung the smallest branches are called as bronchioles and each bronchioles has an air sac also called as alveoli there are around 480 million alveoli in our lungs as you can see in the diagram the alveoli have many capillaries capillary veins in their walls oxygen passes through alveoli and in the capillary and mixes with the blood and this oxygen rich blood is carried to the heart through pulmonary veins similarly carbon dioxide passes from the blood into alveoli and it is exhaled this is how gas exchange happens in the lungs next group of blood vessels group of blood vessels like arteries veins capillaries help in keeping heart lungs and other parts connected they carry blood to all the parts of the body as you can see in the figure pulmonary veins carry oxygen rich blood from lungs to heart aorta and its branches carry oxygen rich blood from heart to other parts of the body vena cava carries oxygen poor blood from body to the heart and pulmonary arteries carry oxygen poor blood from heart to lungs thank you friends please like and subscribe to my video